So tomorrow, December 30th, the Air Jordan 1 High patent bread is finally being released. After months of pushbacks and numerous rumors, we're finally going to see what's true and what isn't. Now this sneaker was originally supposed to drop back in October and then it was pushed back all the way to December 30th. And then recently over the past couple of weeks, we were led to believe that the sneaker was going to be pushed back all the way to 2022. But the sneaker is dropping on December 30th in full family sizing. And in today's video, we're going to talk about this release. And then a little bit later on in the video, we're going to talk about some resale predictions. Now, one of the rumors being floated around out there that does seem to have some validity to it is that there's going to be a lack of men's pairs. They're going to be more on the limited side. Now, this Jordan 1 patent bread is being released in full family sizing. But whenever certain stores like Foot Locker and Champs and East Bay dropped their raffle, they didn't have men's pairs available right away. They only added them about a day or two ago. I think Champs was the last one to add them. So there does seem to be some late shipments coming in in order to meet that December 30th release day. But to be honest with you, once this sneaker does release, I really wouldn't be shocked if we saw this sneaker restocked multiple times. And then another rumor that really sticks out to me has to deal with the stock numbers. Some of these rumors have the stock numbers being really, really high. It's going to be really easy to get. You'll be able to cop it for retail. And then on the flip side of that, you know, there's going to be shipping delays. Stores really haven't gotten their pairs yet. And you should fully expect to see restocks of this sneaker well into 2022. But the fact of the matter is no one really knows what's going on with these stock numbers. Now, some people out there do have better information than others. You know, some people do have nice circles and they get information and stuff like that. But I will tell you like this, the sneaker is going to be available at pretty much every retailer, which leads you to believe that there's going to be high stock numbers. But that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a lot of men's pairs. Now, this Air Jordan 1 patent bread is probably the most hyped Air Jordan 1 that we've seen in quite a while, at least the past six months, maybe even longer than that. And guys, like, it was so bad that people were literally talking about, is the Air Jordan 1 dead? The Air Jordan 1 is not dead, especially when they give us a great colorway, especially an OG colorway. People will show up to buy it. Now, guys, I think this is going to be a hard sneaker to pick up. I don't think this is going to be easy. It's going to be a nice GR. It's probably going to be like, in my estimation, and I'm just guessing, probably 130 to 150,000 pairs of this sneaker uh, being released on December 30th. So, you know, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. You know what I mean? There's a lot of hype for this sneaker. The hype's far going to outweigh, you know, the supply for it. So, you know what I mean? Like, the sneaker is definitely going to sell out. It's going to sell out really, really quick. It's going to be really hard to get. Your best bet in order to get this sneaker for retail was to enter in as many raffles as you possibly could because that's more, you know, gives you a fair chance to pick it up. I entered into every raffle I possibly could. At the time of this recording, I'm waiting to hear if I won any of them. Uh, when it comes to the actual sneaker being released on release day, I really wouldn't mess around with like Foot Locker or Champs or, you know, any of those places because this sneaker is going to be heavily botted. It's going to be almost impossible for you to cop manually. So if you lose out on your raffles or you're looking to get additional pairs, the Nike Sneakers app is going to give you the best chance to cop this sneaker. And that's not really saying much, guys. There's going to be a ton of people going after this sneaker. So I don't think it's going to be easy at all. Now let's talk about resale predictions for a little bit. Now at the time of this recording, which is the night before the release, on the secondary market like Goat, StockX, eBay, places like that, the sneaker's been holding pretty steady. You know, anywhere between like that 350 to 450 range, depending upon where you look and stuff like that. I never really expected the sneaker to hit below $300, especially with the rumors that there's going to be a lack of men's pairs and stuff like that. Uh, once it's all said and done and the hype dies down, uh, in the short term, I think this is going to be like a three to $400 sneaker. Uh, in the long term, I think, you know, the sky's the limit, especially for an OG braid colorway on a Jordan 1. Uh, I think, you know, probably in like a year or two, this is easily going to be, you know, a five, six, seven, maybe $800 sneaker. Uh, the OG braid colorways on Jordan 1s or, you know, Jordan 4s and stuff like that, they always do really well. They're going to be worth money, guys, especially if you're able to get, you know, multiple pairs and stuff like that. Now, if you want to, you know, flip it real quick, you're going to make money. People are going to panic buy this sneaker, which is going to cause the market to fluctuate after the release day. You're going to see it go up. You're going to see it go down. But people are definitely going to panic buy. If they catch that L on the sneakers app and they lost all their raffles, you know what I mean? People definitely want to pick this sneaker up and, you know, you'll be able to make money from release day on. In my personal opinion, this is a definite hold. But, you know, if you just want to get your money real quick and invest in something else, you know, you're definitely going to make money in the short term as well. But guys, I want to wish you all the best of luck when it comes to this release, especially if you're going after this sneaker to wear it. Personally for me, I need two pairs of this sneaker. I really like Jordan 1 bright colorways. You know what I mean? I need two pairs. I hope I hit on these raffles or the sneakers app. Whatever I got to do. You know what I mean? I'll even pay resale for one if I have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? But guys, it's going to be tough. You know what I mean? So good luck to you out there. I want to thank you all for your time and stopping over here and checking out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to my channel and you like sneaker content, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop these videos. And until next time, peace.